So you'll never believe the three pups have been reunited. Late yesterday evening, Nick was sitting watching some rhino and he had all seven adults from the Toulon pack come trotting past with the two pups leading away from the old den, heading straight towards the new den. He didn't follow them for much longer, so this morning we've now come out to find all three pups together at the den. There's just one of the adults here, looks like the alpha female. We presume that the other six adults are out hunting. So what we're hoping for now is the adults to return and us to have a pretty epic spectacle of them all interacting, regurgitating some food for them and just playing around. But to see all three of these pups together is amazing. Once again, this is just another little twist in the wild dog saga, always keeping us guessing. And um, we'll just see what materializes in the next few days. We have been seeing the adults or the parents from the pack of three coming back to the old den. So they've still been coming back to the den. They've still been trying to care for these pups, although pretty haphazardly, not on a very regular occasion, or not on a very regular routine. Sorry, and I'm just getting bombarded by a few bees at the den here. They seem to be swarming out and about. Um, on a side note, bees obviously head out looking for pollen. In the winter time there's very few flowers, very little pollen, so they're buzzing around looking for something and I don't think there's much on offer for them here. Hopefully they don't go for me, um, but we should be all right. Right, so the adults have just got back now. Initially we could hear them who calling in the distance and they've come back one by one and just to watch them now all interacting and regurgitating some food for each other is pretty awesome to see that all three of these pups bellies are now super well fed. And just to watch the intra-pack dynamic, so within this pack, how they're all coming back and are obviously doing their best to look after these pups, who now have a much greater chance of survival by being in a pack of seven. There's more adults to bring back more food for more the pups to then eat more for themselves, as well as defend themselves against any predators or any other threats such as hyenas. So this is magic to just be able to see them all milling about here. We're still very on edge, but also if you think about it, a wild dog's ears are enormous. Their sense of hearing is phenomenal as a result. So if they hear any rustling in the grass nearby, they'll growl, they'll try and see what's going on, causing the pups to then scurry back towards the entrances to the den. So. Where does this leave the pack of three? I'm pretty sure they're going to come back to the old den a couple more times. We did have some footage on the camera trap of a pretty brutal altercation. The 
footage on the camera trap reveals that the pack of three had been at the den for a few hours in the early hours of the morning a couple days ago. At about 20 past six in the morning, we then heard an altercation ensuing out of frame and it seemed to intensify Then we got a view of the injured male come bolting through some bushes, trip and stumble, and then try and make a beeline straight towards the entrance of the den. He sadly was then caught by the Toulon pack right at the entrance. While that was happening, a second dog from the pack of three, we couldn't see if it was the female or the other male came running in, causing the Toulon pack's attention to be diverted towards that wild dog, which then ran out of frame and we could hear an intense altercation happening outside of frame. Toulon pack were around the den for a good while after, for us to then eventually see the injured male making a getaway out of the den a few hours later. So it's been a pretty hard time for this pack of three and just to see an encounter like that happen is pretty intense and is pretty disturbing but at least they're alive they will so I'm sure they'll come back once or twice more realize their pups are no longer here and then they'll move on elsewhere to go and try and find greener pastures or an area where there's less competition with the Toulon pack the Toulon pack are doing a sterling job of looking after these pups. They're too young to be moving around with the pack just yet. I'm sure they're probably going to be bound to this den for a little while longer. And we'll just see what happens. But it's just amazing to see that these pups are all together again and that their chances of survival are drastically increasing with each day that passes by. And we're going to try and keep a close eye on the story as they do go forward from here but we can very gladly say that we have learnt a tremendous amount from just following these wild dogs and everything that we've been exposed to during this season's uh, litter or breeding and I'm pretty sure we're going to learn a lot more but this is just going to give us some valuable insights going forward into any other future wild dog dens that we may have in the future been super fortunate that we've had three dens in the last four years now, before that it was 10 years or so since that last den so we are um, very fortunate that we've been so blessed with wild dog dens and it's certainly not a given that we'll have a den in the near future but at least we've been able to keep a very close eye on this one so I hope you've enjoyed this virtual safari we're gonna keep you in the loop as much as we possibly can with the wild dogs so stay tuned, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you all again next week. Bye for now.